Hello. <laughs> we all want our lives to be the succession of empowered and happy days, right? I, I really don't think anybody wants to have a bad day consciously. I mean, I don't think anybody gets up in the morning saying, you know what, today I want to have a really, really bad day. A lot of people do have a lot of bad days, but not because they consciously decide so. That's a decision we make unconsciously by not realizing that it is our job as souls in incarnation to make our mind, our emotions and our body serve us as souls, serve us as indwelling consciousness, right? So we don't realize that and so we are so-called victims of circumstance. We are run by our own energies, our own inner energies and the energies around us in the world. And so when you are a so-called victim of circumstance, it's, it's hard to have a good day, right? <laughs> uh, you see, if you want to have a good day, you have to make a conscious decision about it. So today I just thought, uh, today I thought I'd just share with you uh, something very quick and something very simple that I personally do and that I personally have been doing uh, for many years. It's one small aspect of my daily morning routine. So I do other things as well as part of my morning routine, but it's, this is one thing I do and it's something that's very simple but very powerful and it really helps me to have a good day, right? <laughs> Okay, so here's what I do. In the morning when getting up, I never leave my bed, you know, without exception, I never leave my bed without first generating all the joy in my heart uh, that I can possibly generate. You see, joy is different from happiness. Happiness is a personality thing. You know, when the weather is good or uh, when we get what we want in life, we are happy. Joy, on the other hand, is a soul quality. Joy comes from the inner knowingness of our inherent divinity, eternity, immortality. Joy comes from knowing that we have a divine creator and that we are divine creatures and that everyone in this world that we all share in the sonship and daughtership of, our, of, our, of, uh, of a divine creator, that we all share in the spirit of divinity with everyone and everything, uh, you know, even, if, even if we all don't express it yet because we're just learning to remember our divinity and to fully step into it, right? But it gets the point, right? So joy is something that comes from knowing that we are divine, eternal, lo uh, uh, lovable and all the rest. So what I do is when I sit down in meditation in the morning, I focus my attention in my heart and then I generate all the joy that I can possibly generate. I smile when I do that. I, I think it speeds up the process, at least for me, in my experience. So what I do is it takes maybe a minute or so. To do that, I sit down, I smile, and then I think about joy and give it my full attention until I feel a wave of joy emanating from my heart and washing over my aura. I, honestly, there is no better feeling in the world. If you start your day with generating joy and, and, and feeling the spirit of joy, a wave of joy, uh, cleansing and purifying and going and moving through your aura, uh, it, it's the best feeling in the world. And then there is one more thing I do before I get up. I claim my power. I do various things, but one thing I do that helps me to get into my, into my power super quickly is I say the following mantra. I say, I will, I can, and I do, fighter. I will, I can, and I do, fighter. I know a lot of people, especially in the so-called new age movement, they don't like the word fighter. And they don't like the word because they don't really understand what we are actually up to in this world. They don't understand what a so-called spiritual path involves and what it actually means for the soul, for the indwelling, indwelling soul to take charge of the mind, emotional nature and physically body. That's quite literally a war and, and I'm sure I'll talk about it in another video or sometime. Uh, I don't want to get into that right now but, uh, but life in a sense is a war and that's why we have to claim our power and that's why and it's one of the reasons why I say as part of my morning routine, I say I will, I can, and I do fighter. I personally, I love the word fighter. <laughs> but anyway, but here's another reason why I do that. Why I generate all the joy in my heart and claim my personal power before I start my day. You see, I think you will agree with me that we live in a world that is filled in many ways with a lot of unhappy, depressed and worried people because we live in a world that denies its divinity and is actually scared to death of its own divinity. 
Why? Why are we all so scared of our own divinity? Well, imagine it, it, it is really true that you are immortal, eternal and totally lovable and, and that everything is forgiven and, 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 everyone, and it applies to everyone else as well. What if it were true, which it is, and if it were true, which it is, it would mean that our whole worldview is all fantasy and illusion. That our fears, our wars, our attacks, our superiority and inferiority complexes are all a fantasy. And it's huge. You know? We would have to admit, if that were true, if you're eternally mortal, eternally lovable and all the rest, if that were true, we would have to admit that everything we thought to be true is actually not true. That all our excuses for shining our light that we come up with in order to defend our illusionary incapability and littleness are all nonsense. So we would have to admit that our every thought, feeling, word and deed is based on illusion. <laughs> you know, and if we did that, or if we would have to do that, what would, what would that do to our self-worth, the negative ego thinks. So we deny our divinity because we, if we stop doing that, we might actually recognize that we are indeed divine, that we are indeed eternal, that we are indeed endlessly lovable and, you know, and that none of our mystics are held against us because we're in school here and all the rest. And so to the negative ego, that is a totally scary thought because it means the end of the negative ego because it's the negative ego that terrorizes us and tells us that we were worse than everybody or better than everybody and all these things, right? So the negative ego is the part of our mind that denies our divinity and affirms our separation, right? But anyway, so that's why we live in a world, essentially, if we look around, where everybody attacks everybody. No matter what you do, you can be the nicest person in the world, you can have the purest intentions, no matter what you do, people will come up and attack you, you know? So we live in a world that tries to bring us down every step along the way. And so if you don't generate all the joy in your heart and claim your power to start your day and decide to have a powerful day and a joyful day, guess what? You will have a bad day, you know, bad in our interpretation, because your inner unmastered energies, as, as well as all the attacks coming from unhappy and depressed people around you, they will bring you down. <laughs> so that's why I do it. That's why I have a morning routine. And that's why, and if I don't do it for whatever reason, I feel like naked. I have to do my morning routine. And that's a couple of things that I do as part of a morning routine. It helps me to stay on top of life. And I find it totally energizing. So I generate all the joy in my heart. Then I say two or three times, I will, I can, and I do fight her. So I'm, I'm really powering myself up from the inside out. And then I usually get so excited. I, I don't walk downstairs in a, in a zen mode or something <laughs> I literally run downstairs so so I, I, I get up claim a power and I run downstairs <laughs> and this that's how I start my day and then actually from spring to autumn I don't do that in winter because we have snow here, but from spring to autumn, I actually go outside in the garden and then I take a garden hose and, and, then, I and, then, I and then I take a freezing cold shower. It's really, blah. it's freezing cold shower and that's my first victory of the day. And, you know, and when you start your day with generating all the joy in your heart, claiming your power and the victory, you know what, you're set for the day. You will have a powerful day. You will have a happy day. So here is your assignment. <laughs> Try that out for yourself. You know, don't just take my word. Try it out for yourself. In the next seven days, start your day with joy, power, and some sort of victory. Something that forces you to get over yourself in some way. You know, for me, it's the freezing cold shower. For you, it may be something else. <laughs> and let me know how you, how, are you, how you are doing. I honestly believe, I don't believe, I know in my heart, it is... You know, we, we are here in this world to have joy, to be happy, to be fulfilled. And um, so this is our destiny. This is our duty. And, and also that's why I think we all should have happy, empowered days. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I hope I could have service to you today. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>